Hey guys and welcome to Faith Works Designs. I'm Faith and this week I decided to do something um, kind of crazy. <laughs> I wanted to give myself a challenge. Now normally when I sew videos I do one thing at a time and a lot of you guys wonder how I get so much done especially if you look on my Facebook page or just in general Instagram all that. Today I'm going to show you how. I do a lot of what's called batch sewing or basically doing a ton of stuff at the same time to save myself some time. Um, I decided that I was going to do 40 wallets in five days. Now I have never done this many wallets in that short of, short of a span of time. To batch sew you decide how many items you want to make and then you cut out all of those items. Uh, if you want to make five backpacks you cut everything out first. Then you're going to start sewing it all together. But I don't show you step by step. I do show you the process of how I cut everything out how I sew everything and um, be able to do it in a batch so that I have a lot left over. I need a week's vacation after this. I don't think I'll be doing it for a while. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. So let's get started. Alright, so we have got our piles and piles and piles of card slots all done and ready to sew. Um, I have got The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog all ready to go. Um, so I have something to watch. What do you guys like to watch when you're sewing? Let me know in the comments down below. But I have got to get started so that we can get all of these hopefully sewn today. At least this morning. Okay, so day two down, I am exhausted, but I took my kids to the park for a little bit so that we could get out um, because they just needed to get out. They had way too much energy, so I didn't get as far today as I wanted to, but we're going to strive on and we're going to get this done. So here's what I've got done as of today. Okay, so I have got all the card slips. Card slips. <laughs> okay, it's getting late. Uh, I've got all of the card slots cut and separated, top stitch, sewn together, um, this little flap done, so I've got to um, open this up and then top stitch down there. If you hear the TV in the background, that's my kiddos. And I am currently, yes, there's my energy, uh, I am currently this far into the Battle of the Five Armies, so i got to hurry up and get some more sewing done before I quit for the night, or I'm going to be out of my movie, so let's get rolling. A long day. Um, I got distracted and kind of in the zone and completely forgot to record myself cutting the taco fabric. Uh, but I got all of the flaps done. Oh my gosh, that took forever. So now uh, I've got my stabilizer that I'm using for the flap. 
and I am painstakingly one at a time cutting them out. So let me show you. So I'm taking my nice template. Thank you so much, Tops and Bobbins. And I'm laying it down here, and then I'm just taking my rotary cutter and going along the line. Okay, so that is going to be it for today. Um, sometimes when you batch sew, so you are cutting and doing the same thing over and over and over again um, so that your hands are just in that process. Many of you guys that made masks um, probably felt the same thing that I do right now. My right hand and wrist is killing me because you're doing the same motion over and over again. Um, sometimes it's good to take a break if you're doing batch sewing or if you can't take a break but you need to get things done uh, I would definitely do something else with your hands for a little bit just kind of um, I had somebody suggest knitting or crocheting um, just to kind of keep your hand flexible and moving around so that if it hurt from all of the sewing that you could do something different with it so that your hands weren't doing the same motion and you were doing something differently so if you guys have an issue with that and you tried knitting or crocheting, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know if there's something that'll help. Uh, my hands don't always hurt me, but I just did a batch sewing of some book bags like the day before I got my taco fabric. So it was batch sewing um, 10 book bags and now batch sewing 40 wallets. So that's a lot of wallets in general, but um, batch sewing back to to back like that my right hand is killing me so I'm gonna stop for tonight even though I really don't want to because I'm making really good progress um, but I can't do it if my hand is killing me so I'm gonna quit here for tonight I did it! Oh my gosh, that took forever and so many hours, but I finally did it. All 40 of them are all done, and I need a vacation. <laughs> Normally, when I have to sew for the store, I, I sew like 10 of something all together, and then it's not that bad. But 40 was 
asking a lot and so now I need like a nap. I hope you guys like this video. If you liked it, you can give it a thumbs up and just hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my sewing videos that are coming out. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get right to those. Thanks for joining us here on Faith Works Designs. Bye guys.